And finally, scientists found the first armadillos in Tennessee six years ago. Since then, they just keep spreading. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny shows us the armored animals have now invaded the Great Smoky Mountains. At Newfound Gap in the Smokies, there's a new king of the mountain. Caught on camera for the first time in the National Park. We had a game camera and we got a couple of photographs of an armadillo. So we've, we've officially documented an armadillo within the interior of the park. Armadillos first arrived in Tennessee in 2013 on the plateau near the Alabama state line. That was a surprising spot because scientists assumed these animals would avoid the cold temperatures found at higher elevations. You know, they've spread tremendously. Professor Tim Gauden at UT Chattanooga says since 2013, these armored invaders have hit the road faster than expected. So they seem to be spreading more quickly uh, than they have in the past. They're actually accelerating their rate of expansion. Up until a few weeks ago, this possum on a half shell only showed up as roadkill in areas surrounding the park. So this is the apex of armadillo accomplishments. It's the first documented live armadillo inside the park. Not just in the park, nearly a mile high at Newfound Gap. We don't know what impact they might have on other species that are here, but we do know they're primarily insectivores. And the insect density is great in the Smokies. There are attractions for them. Documenting a new species also comes with some bragging rights if you're a wildlife biologist. Ryan Williamson. Ryan Williamson gets credit. It's added a, a new species to our species list. We never had an armadillo. So now along with the majestic elk, and the beautiful, iconic black bears of the Smokies stands a new icon, a king of the mountain. Just don't expect any armadillo license plates anytime soon. In the Great Smoky Mountains, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. <laughs> Jim had fun with that one. I think it'll be a while before we see those plates. Without a doubt. <laughs> Those scientists do want your help tracking armadillos in East Tennessee. If you see one dead or alive, they want a picture in an exact location. We have contact information at WBIR.com. Hey, thanks for watching, everyone.